Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here on the Citadel server in the spawn chunks and we are working on the iron farm for the server. In the last couple of streams we've tied up the bottom design. We haven't done any decorating yet but we've certainly got the design of the farm all sorted out. We've lowered the uh, burning chamber, the boiling chamber, whatever you want to call it, and uh, the melting pot. And we were working a little bit on the top at the end of the last stream. I'll show you where we were. So I think I want to incorporate more of the copper and the acacia logs, the piping that we have going on down here. I really like some of this extra piping coming around the sides. It's kind of buried in the ground a little bit. And so I think what we'll do is incorporate a bit more of that. And I don't mind that you can see inside through the trapdoors. I think that from a certain angle that might look cool as you're walking around here on the ground. I am going to try to remember that most of the time people are not going to see this from the sky. They're mostly going to be walking along the path and seeing it from the ground. So I'm going to try and keep that in mind. I'm not entirely sure I like this overgrowth stuff. I know that it's going to be the easiest way to make it spawn proof and to match it up with what we have going on with the moss farm. But I also think that we could have some of that overgrowth happening underneath like we have down there. I could do that all the way around and then I could do something different on the top. And I'm not sure I like the lights embedded in here. I'm wondering if I could put the lights on top as like some sort of beacon or marker or lighthouse, something to kind of maybe mimic what we've got going on down here, not with magma, but with maybe the copper bulb, but like in a little square. So I think I might try that today and see how that's gonna look. Mind Trip Media, thanks ever so much for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. And uh, Just Alice, number one, has followed in the last little while. By the way, we are getting dangerously close to 20,000 followers on Twitch. It's 19,946 or something real, real close. So if you're watching this later on YouTube and you have not already followed on Twitch, or if you're watching on Twitch now and you haven't followed already, hit the follow button. It's, it's pretty easy, it's free, and it does a lot to help me out. Okay. Let's see what I've got in my inventory here. I'm gonna need some copper. I think I'm okay for glass. Definitely gonna need some dirt. I'm gonna use, um, there's no, what can we use? Is there a slab that's really easy to break? What's a really easy to break slab? Sandstone, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll try sandstone. Basically, I want to use slabs for my scaffolding. Um, let's just use regular. This way, they will not be... Um, try that for now. This way we can put slabs down up there and walk around and have it not be a spawning space. Mind Trip Media gifting a tier one sub to the community as well to kick off the stream and that went out to yellow 94 T. Yellow, if you wanna join the Discord, you can do that now. Connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and uh, you can join the Joel Duggan Discord in your Discord settings. What do you do with old builds when your build talent has increased and uh, do you change them or leave them? I leave them most of the time, Real Pickle. Uh, however, uh, you're looking at a really good example of me wanting to improve the look um, of a farm. The excuse to redecorate and redesign this was that it was broken and it wasn't functioning, so we had to tear it down. So um, I generally like to iterate. I'd rather, for example, like if I decided that I didn't like this moss farm anymore, I'd rather build a new one than tear this one down somewhere else, right? I, and I think that that's part of having a good server history and um, this was just already set up with the collection area and the nether portals. And so it, it made sense to leave this here. Now, I do have plans to make my own, um, my own iron farm at my sci-fi area when I have a chance. We're gonna need more 
Acacia trapdoors, I think. Okay, I don't think I'm going to use the moss just now. So I'll put that back. I'm feeling the real inventory pinch. And I'm not sure I like the smokers. We'll have to see. I just sworn I had more of these. Do I have scaffolding up there already? I think I do. I do. Yay. So scaffolding is not spawnable, however, uh, it is also um, you can't expand it the way you want because it can't reach because it's not as useful as they think it is. So instead, I think what I'll do is use these. This way we can create a platform up here that the golems won't spawn on. I do that. All right, so first up, I think I want to uh, change I think I want to change this bottom part to copper as well. That guy took some damage. It was weird. Oop, didn't mean to fall. Where, oh, I don't have no rockets. Well, I need to sleep anyway. Not sure if slime or honey blocks are spawnable, but they're super quick to break. I I think they are spawnable. I think honey might not be. Uh, slime blocks would be. The slime blocks don't have a different hitbox. Honey has a different hitbox. I think. I think. I think. I think. Now I should be able to climb up the scaffolding. Oh, I can't place it on that. Okay. Well. I think if we do this, this could look pretty good. All right, come industrial. And then I could repeat the th that on the top. Oh, a uh, rare Alistair has appeared. I didn't realize Alistair was online. I don't have a bow. <laughs> I would fire one off the bow. Is Alistair streaming? I don't know.
Folks, if you're not already following Alistair McFly on Twitch, you can do that. That's Alistair's Twitch handle right there. Uh, but to head out, wanted to stop by and take a quick look at the progress. Oh, very cool. So what I'm thinking is we do the same thing up here. And that would mean that this ends up being copper. Some of this stuff is unfortunately just going to get lost. Probably pick up Scary Steve's remains, see if I can reincarnate him in Avalon. <laughs> Uh, not sure. And unfortunately, until we figure out how to permanently spawn proof this, we've got to consistently keep carpets on top of it. I don't know if that's going to be too much copper or not. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I really like all the, the details down there, too. We haven't finished it up. Lots to do down there at the end, but I keep on messing up and dumping water down on top of it, so I'm not going to do any landscaping down there until I absolutely have to. So I was debating doing um, another row of trapdoors. I just don't want to repeat the pattern too much. I don't think I want a window in here. I don't think I want to see what's going on. Uh, we do have to keep this block space clear because the golems need uh, three blocks to, to spawn. So we can only put blocks on the inside at this level. So this level I was thinking would be maybe another set of trapdoors but then I don't know what would go on top of those. We could just do a set of oak trapdoors all the way up. So this is something that could happen. We could do something like this. Because that spawn proofs it. And then creates that kind of a, a wall. I just don't know. I'm just not sure if that's what I want to do or not. And then we would fill in the sides. I do like the idea of the composter, but again, like we can't have it in a specific area. I could put uh, more acacia trapdoors in there too and try to see what that looks like as well but the other thing that i wanted to try up the top would be like a copper i guess not a lighthouse but like a beacon And we could put, I guess that could go there. Yes, chest is filling up well. Yes, it's about six. 
think it's per hour. And then I can put this in here. Oh, do I not have a redstone piece? Crap. Uh, I can make a button. And I don't know, maybe we'll put like trap doors over this or something. Then we just have to do something on the top of it, unfortunately. So this can't stay like this. This has to have some sort of cap on it. So maybe the trap door goes here. And then we can just do... I could also do copper. We don't have to do acacia. Eh. Not as cool as I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to look cooler. I feel like I need to change the material here. Um, I don't think I want to do the salt again. Maybe we just change the whole thing to acacia. Going for trapdoors, bamboo trapdoors, or warp trapdoors? Um, I wasn't thinking about warp trapdoors. I was thinking mostly in here, the other thing I could try would be a full wall of the acacia trapdoors. I think that kind of takes away from how cool they look. They look like a grill down here, but up there they just kind of look like six trapdoors in a row. And the more I think about this, the more I feel like I want to make a larger portion of it copper. I guess I go right down to the bottom. don't know. I feel like I like the contrast between the copper and the dark oak. Yeah, I don't like the bamboo wood. That's not my favorite. Oxidized. What kind of other slabs are there? So it's only cut copper slabs. There's no other kind of slabs for copper. Okay. 
I feel like that might be too much acacia, too much orange. If I build high enough, then we're outside of the spawning area and it won't matter what we put on the top of it. So that's an idea too. Turing, hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Where is that box? So up here, they should not be able to spawn, in theory. Yeah, I don't like the, the fact that it's so close together, like the, the, the corners touch like that. I think that's the beef that I have with it. It seemed like such a good idea in my head. Sick boy, hello, welcome in. Taper off the top with stairs. Oh no, it's got nothing to do with the the stairs. It's it's the textures being too close together, that's all. Maybe I should just try and stick closer to what we're we're doing over there. Well, for now, I think I don't mind the spruce trapdoors, so we'll do that. That was a very specific hold that I just fell through. <laughs> Any important pieces come down here? No. That, that looks okay. I don't really want to get into anything too symmetrical. So like I could repeat this trapdoor thing, this kind of double thing up top. That's probably the simplest thing to do. Plus it keeps them spawn proof without having to put moss on everything. And then now I have to worry about is just 
putting the stuff on top here. I could also put lights up here instead. Oh no, that's expensive. We don't have a copper farm. Well, actually that's a lie, I do. But it's pretty slow. And I don't know if it's going to um, be nerfed in the new... The new mechanics that they're showing off in the experimental snapshots. The way that reinforcements are um, brought in. I'm doing well, sick boy. Thanks for asking. And uh, thanks very much. I'm glad you like the sponge chunks. That's awesome that you, uh, that you listen. Vampirium, welcome in. Hello, hello. Thanks for the follow, sick boy. Much appreciated. One more closer to 20,000 followers. Uh, we are fixing the iron farm. If you've been following the spawn chunks, then that's what this is what I've been talking about on the show the last little while. So I think I'm going to re reverse this. Yeah. Again, it sort of just looks like a big cage now. And I guess I could fill in the corners. Make things feel more solid. At which point, I guess this would just get brought up. No! That's going to get burned in lava. Oh, well. Yeah, it seems to be the simplest. Seems to be the simplest. I was wondering what this would look like instead of having spruce underneath this, if we switch this to acacia. I think maybe the solution is going to be dark oak. Which I don't have yet. Where are you taking damage up here when you spawn?
Sick boy, if you do bang mods in chat, you'll get a link to all the mods that I, that I use. Yeah, I think that works out better. like this either. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what do we put there? I guess just more log. And then I could replace that with something else. Uh, I guess I could do, could do trapdoors. Later, sick boy. Have a good one. So in here, we'd have to do it on a different, um, different plane, but it would still work. And then from here, we'd go back to copper, I think. Oh, wait, that goes on the inside. I hope I picked that up. There it is. pretty simple. It's not my favorite, but I'd rather have it looking decent for now. And this is why we need to spawn proof everything up here. But he can stay here for now because he'll stop the farm from going crazy. Yeah, it's not the most imaginative design. Do I have any copper trapdoors? I do not. I was playing No Man's Sky earlier today on the Xbox and I was running into the same inventory problems. I just, I only had one inventory space and for everything I wanted to add, I had to get rid of something. And it was tedious. I was going to try trapdoors.
Maybe they look better on these ones? Nope. Just a little bit too much texture, I think. Worth a shot. All right, well, let's go down the middle of that. I'll remove the leaves. I think the leaves are something we're going to have to do last. So this went across like this. And then we change these to dark. did copper bulb copper Gollum isn't able to see the zombie at all. I'm scared that he will see it and kill it. I don't think so. Nope. Chief Blazes, welcome in. was I don't remember what we put in the side I think it was just this trap door I only have three left and then it was copper bulb above spawning? No, we're not. Okay. I think that that's the design we're going to go with. It does just look like a box in the sky, and there's really not much I could do about that. The good news is up here, we could put something on the other side of these trapdoors. Like if we didn't want it to be see-through, we could put maybe moss or leaves or really anything up here could be used to change the way that those look straight through to the sky. And these are not spawnable, so 
that would work too. Chief Blaze is resubbing tier th one for three months. That's amazing. Thanks very much. If you haven't already, uh, join the Discord. You've got access now that you've got a sub. Or now that you've renewed the sub. Zed, Mib, welcome in. Oops, wrong button. I think that's okay. We'll we'll add the greenery later. Really what I want to do is just get everything sorted out here. So I'm definitely gonna need more spruce trapdoors. Don't need the signs. And I don't need the bushes and the bone meal right now. And we weren't using the copper trap doors or the furnace. At least not for now. Uh, Sheaf Blazes, that's not how it works. Uh, if you connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts, then you can find the Joel Duggan Discord in your connections tab on Discord. Shouldn't matter on mobile. You can still have the same settings. Darn it, I missed. Oh, we've got to figure out how to um, scooch this in because this is not going to be a straight line. Need more sandstone. That's going to be a challenge too. Okay, so we'll just bring this around. How do I want to do this particular one? Let's do that and that. I think that's how that looked. And so on this side, this is going to actually be in farther, so we could probably get away with the same sort of thing. Right to there.
I do find things go a lot quicker once you've established a pattern that you can repeat. Right. Oh, no. Oh, but we have to block that in somehow. I think, I don't know. Oh no, that's just a corner. We can do whatever we want with this, that's fine. This has to be replaced quite quickly because this is going to be a light. Oh, that was close. Oh, I know. I Same thing for me. I'm not a fan of falling off of high things in Minecraft or Satisfactory. It's been a while since I've worked this high in Minecraft. I forgot how tedious it is. Just realizing I don't think I've waxed the other bulbs. These are really neat. The fact that you can turn them on and they stay on is just really cool. Actually, let's just put some copper up here just to see. Whoops, not there. Really interesting sound effects. I've not done that very often. So this, we'd have to kind of fake the inside column. Uh, probably from about this height. I'll just put something temporary in here now. the trapdoor, but other than that, I think that's pretty standard. Looks fine to me.
That was some trickery right there. Was this world made before Caves and Cliffs? Yes, it was. This is a seven-year-old server. This is going to be trapdoors. the glass is in the way crap well uh, that's going to be something we either have to incorporate into this or cover up somehow I forgot that that came out that far So maybe on this side, we're just going to have glass panes. Uh, it was made in 1.12, but then we quickly updated to 1.13 because 1.13 came out that September and we only created the world in July. So we only had about two months. Can you have trapdoors instead of glass? Uh, no, because the trapdoors would. I think these guys need the extra room. I think the glass. I think the blocks um, keep them from. I think the glass means that they won't pop out when they pop out of the beds. So I think we have to keep it. Um, maybe what I can do on this side is stairs. That sort of works. Uh, what could we do? I guess I could use these kind of stairs. Oh, I could do upside down stairs. Like that, so we'd still get a bit of a depth change. The glass is going to connect to whatever I put here. Maybe that's where I can put a trapdoor. Nope. Why won't it let me put a thing here? Right, so the glass connects to that. Uh, and then one, two, three. So that has this has to be a clear spot. So I can't do that. This has to go this way. I guess this corner. Hmm. Oh, right, there'd only be two. And we can't have a beam go across there either. So this is going to be stairs again. Interesting. This is a real tricky spot. Maybe the solution is to not go on an indent down here so instead of having these back here i might have them out flush 
with the edge. And have them bend or something. That's probably the easier way to do it. Can't say I'm a big fan of that copper top either. It's very shiny. Obviously, I forgot to wax a couple of bulbs too. All right, thanks for the heads up, Sandy. Yeah, if uh, anybody's new to the stream, I take a break about once an hour. It is about that time. So I'm going to step away and grab another glass of water, give myself a stretch. You should too. Maybe grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Chief Blazes, thanks very much for sending that tier one sub to Jaycrest. I really appreciate that. Jaycrest, make sure you join the Discord. Connect your Discord and your Twitch. And you can join us in between streams. So I needed more of these. And more copper bulbs. It's redstone, I think. End rods are in here. So, I have to figure out how to make this work and not have that window be there. So, I'm going to bring this out, I think. And I'll do the trapdoors on the outside instead of the inside. So, that should be pretty easy, I think. Just don't know about that. This is going to be a problem up here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to bring the beams out, I think. Try. Right, I can do that with the top one, I think. What a scaffolding mess I have made today. I think what we'll have to do is put the copper out here. that and then I don't know how we handle this edge here um, I guess I could just bend it whenever I need to bend it maybe something like that I guess I could leave that out as a double. Hmm. Uh oh no, I'm going to move the trap doors. Well, I guess in that case I could just leave the that can be whatever it's going to be because I can cover it up. Trapdoors are going to be 
on this side. And that could, I guess, be wood. Yeah. No. Uh. So we'll do that. And then we'll do the same trapdoor thing here. And that's what we did on the other side, right? That's even with that? Yeah. And then this will be up here to there. And then up here, we will have anything we want in there. Probably just another one of these. And then we'll fill that in with something. I mean, really, we just do the whole thing as strip dark oak, right? And then I can just put the trapdoors on this side. So same texture, it'll just be a block out. That should be about right. Nope, that's taller than it needs to be. Crap. So then what do I do on the top one? That's supposed to be another beam. That's what I did wrong. Yeah, Dark Oak is a fun block. I'm not crazy about it, but I wasn't thinking very far ahead when I decided to stagger the legs at the back here. The easiest solution would be to move these legs again, which I really don't want to do. It does provide a more interesting footprint down below. We could we could have them um, extend up here. We could do something. Maybe that's the thing to do, is to have the legs shift here. That could be a very interesting solution. I'll try that on the other side and see how that looks. That might be the easiest thing to satisfy my uh, eye twitch <laughs> with this current design.
So then we just have to do the top part, which is just more trapdoors and another beam. Elkhorn, coming in with a raid. Thanks very much, Elkhorn. We are building the iron farm way up in the sky. Elkhorn 95, the mighty Elkhorn, playing on Infinity Cove, I'm guessing. The herd is the word, says Diamond Miner Mom. Thanks for coming in, folks. Elkhorn, what were you doing on stream? I'm pretty sure most of the people in Elkhorn's chat would know who I am, but just in case you don't, my name is Joel Duggan. I co-host the Spawn Chunks about Minecraft with Pixel Riffs, and I stream here on Twitch, and I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast, and it's my job, so I'm here quite a bit. Great big old rate of 21. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Elkhorn. I really appreciate it. If uh, folks that are coming in from Elkhorn's stream, if you are not already following here on Twitch, we are very, very close to 20,000 followers on Twitch. And I would love if you would hit the follow button. It really helps me out a lot. Just like Diamond Miner Mom. Just like that. Thanks ever so much. Elkhorn says, not today. I've joined the Dragonfell SMP. Oh, that's right. I did know that. Uh, we're in week two of the fourth season. Uh, getting early game automation up with bamboo, sugarcane, and chicken farms completed. Oh, fun. Cool. Yeah. That kind of infrastructure stuff is always good. I forgot that you were on Dragonfall. I did know that. That's great. That's really, really cool. How is it going? I hope you're having a good time. Uh, so for folks that are wondering, we are putting the decorations up here on the... Uh, the iron farm and i am less than satisfied <laughs> with how it's going uh but we are just kind of getting it to a point where it looks okay and then wondering if i'll ever return to it uh i think what we'll end up doing here is probably using stairs because stairs are also not spawnable Am I out of dark oak? I'm out of dark oak. Farm looks awesome. I've been looking at, at it and pondering all sorts of things of similar style because it's awesome. Thanks very much, Scotsman. I really appreciate that. Elkwin has been a blast so far. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I've never had an invite to join like a temporary SMP or any of those other projects. Like Pix is doing some modded Minecraft right now in a fantasy zone. And a lot of those places are YouTube focused. And I don't do any edited content on YouTube. I just post the VODs. Just follow the Spawn Chunks podcast. What is your other podcast? It is the Citadel Cafe. Uh, thanks to Sandy for the link in chat. Uh, it is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Uh, it is not kid-friendly. Just FYI, we do have adult conversations and curse a little bit on the Citadel Cafe. Spawn Chunks is family-friendly. Just FYI, if you have small humans nearby. Um, and we um, we just finished talking about uh, Deadpool and Wolverine on the show this week. All right, let's see if we can't move this. A little bit and see what I can get going over here. I 
need to go get more dark oak. And there's already golem up here, so we should be fine. I don't remember there being a lot of blood in Deadpool and Wolverine. A lot of stabbing. Don't, I guess there was a lot of blood at the beginning. Okay, let's see. I need more dark oak. And I need dark oak those. And I have to think about how I'm going to shift this out. Probably with dark oak stairs would be my guess. Whoops. Okay. So the idea here to, to try is to move this out. And maybe we'll move this out at this height here. So if we do this the same as before, this should line up with that. So we will put this piece here. Oh, wait a minute, that probably has to be dark oak. And instead of that being here, we're going to move that out. Let's see what that looks like. I think it's going to make my life a lot easier. Thankfully, the zombie is not going to be up against the wall here. So let's just put this here. Uh, Deadpool is an anti-hero, technically, if you're looking for a label. Okay, so this would have... A stair here, probably a stair there. And we do slab. Is this longer? Why is this not looking right? Oh, it's longer. It is longer. Oh no, it's fine. That's right. This would go to there. So what we would do here is something like that. I think. Yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, obviously, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman have great chemistry because they're good friends. But I thought it was good. Very entertaining. Very, very entertaining.
Okay, so we've got that done. That means that we can go about this the other way. So then this would have to be out like that. that and then we can go about the normal um, trapdoor nonsense down here if this looks good I think that looks all right I might want to add a little something to it. Maybe trapdoors or something underneath it. I missed. Okay, so this would be here what do I have I guess it's these so that is the same as the front We do the trap doors. I really wish there was an easier way to increase the height of scaffolding when you're above the scaffolding. So then that goes back to copper. Yes. And then trap doors again, yes.
Now here, we had put some leaves behind them. And then I guess I need to bulk this back up. Oh no, this is supposed to be a thing there. Just have to make sure I have enough height. Uh, it has to be there. And I might as well fill this in with dark oak. And then there's one more on top of this. need to be able to see a little bit better so we'll sleep and I feel like I'm also out of something okay I uh, don't need those or the shroom lights for now copper My gosh, so much stuff. How are we doing for dark oak here? Trap doors, that's what I want. So don't need the redstone. Acacia stairs. And stripped acacia. Yeah, uh, yeah, the Shulker Plus mod is very cool. I wish we could have better textures on the top for the blocks. The blocks look kind of dumb. So for context, if I was to take this and put some terracotta on it, like if, let's just say, do I have any orange? It's yellow. Orange terracotta. I don't particularly love the way that this looks in game i think that looks a little bit too high like i really wish that it would be flat kind of like it is with the items but then you have to figure out like what item do you want to put on something that represents terracotta so in some cases it worked like for the wood i just use the hanging sign and it's very easy to see which is which right but then concrete some of my spare boxes. It would be cool to have bundles on those. Once we have bundles in the game, that would be kind of fun to put bundle there as a, as a um, symbol. But really the thing that looks the best is items, but I just can't think about what items would fit terracotta, right? Bundles are in the latest snapshot. 
and they function a little bit differently now. Go watch Exumavoid's video, it's really good. Now, did I miss anything other than the edges? I have to wax that one. So the question, whoop, that was close. I hit the wrong button. Does that look okay? Doesn't really match with what we've got going on. I think the trap doors I can get rid of. But I think I like that as a solution better than what I've got over here, which is to have it kind of like bulge out. I think that looks a little bit better. What do we think, chat? I mean, the alternative is to have these go maybe wrap around the whole thing. That could be interesting. I'm also realizing I could have had these kind of snake around a little bit. That would have been cool, too. Could still do that. Because these are in the same block space. Oh, thanks, Chief. Appreciate it. Wrapping around would make the front and back look different, and wrapping it around would also mean that when you're walking this way along the, the paths, you'd see like these orange bits. That could be really fun. All right, I'll try the wraparound thing and see. All right, so if I was to wrap that around, I would probably go right to the edge. I guess with him up here, I don't need to spawn proof everything all the time. Yeah, and then we can have something more interesting happen with this other one. So here, maybe on this piece right there. that has to stop there. That's more interesting. I might want to move it a little bit to the left, or the right, I mean. Yeah, 
Yeah, and then I would wrap wrap that around, or I could have that turn here and go in. Trying to mimic what we have down below. Hmm. Maybe that's going to do the same thing. Maybe we could drop that down. Uh, here? Nope. Ugh. Where am I here? Yeah, the block that I'm standing on. Now, does this go... Yeah, this would go around the back, I think. Think that would work? And then maybe we could have this one wrap around lower. That could be pretty cool. I like that idea actually. Oh, Jay, Chris, you're looking for a new computer? Yeah, I, uh, this is seven years old. Still does pretty good. I wish I could play with shaders and stream at the same time. I can play with shaders, but I just can't stream at the same time. So the only thing here is that we have to make sure that um, we don't do anything too repetitive down here. I think maybe we'll leave this one where it is, and then we'll take this one around and pop it in. Maybe we can turn this one up. Or we could turn this one down. No, up would be better. I guess I should put them in on the back first to see where we're going. I could have sworn that I waxed some of these lights. Do 
Do we want to stay with trapdoors there? Hmm. So this would probably come out to there. Oh, but then that covers it up. Hold on. Maybe the bottom one has to wrap around as well. And maybe we'll bring that up to the middle. Why is that like that? So I doubled up on that and I probably didn't need to. Is that got water behind it? I want to say it does. Probably want to sleep just in case the villagers get hit. I should probably find a um, lightning rod to put that nearby. that go all the way down there? It did. Jeez. That's not bad. I think I'd like to have this come up in the corner. I can do that right on the corner, maybe. That way we're not blocking anything over here either. Need some more sandstone. Oh, I have um I have a I have a lightning rod. I meant find it in my inventory. 
It exists. I just don't. Uh, I think it's in the in the copper box. I have lost the ability to aim, apparently. I think that's a cooler way of doing this than bumping this out and making it be more the same as the front. So I think we're going to do that. That means that these pillars here are actually in the right position. Yeah, the wraparound pipes are more interesting, I agree. I agree. have to figure out just get rid of this I guess no I completely missed Right, then this would have all the copper um, bulbs and stuff on the inside of it in here too. What do we start with on this? This is three strip logs starting at my feet. Yes. These I think were just filler for now until I can figure out what else goes in here. That was supposed to be a copper block. Hope I have that right. I do. Good stuff. I think all I did over here was just turn the corner, right? Sort of. Does that make sense? No.
Okay, that's that. And then this little bit, this is really short. It's only four here. So all I would do here is probably the same thing as we've been doing all the way around. This was like the first proof of concept thing that I did. That could probably connect to that pipe. And then maybe, maybe we'll have this one bend around and come in. So maybe this one here, we could have a copper thing there. And then take this out. around the corner like that. And I'll figure out where to connect it. And I don't know what we do in those spaces. What have we been doing? Oh, there's um stairs underneath these, right? That and then trap doors. Not enough room for slabs. So then this is just gonna be dark oak. I wonder if that would look better if it wrapped around. I guess we could put a stair in there. Sure. Streams at two hours. Thanks very much. I appreciate that. I think what we'll do is I'll just finish up this thought. So I should probably get going. These have got to be replaced. Whoops. have unwaxed the copper. And then this is just trapdoors, right? We just kind of go right to the top. So here we can do four. Don't know what would go there. I guess this would be logs. We'll have to come in and maybe fix up the inside a little bit. I've obviously missed some spots.
And then this would connect around the corner up to this top part, I think. Question is, how far? Yeah, probably right here. So something like that, and then we have the trap doors again on the top. And the trap doors have got bushes. Really? One short? Honestly? <laughs> Why? That's a pain. I guess we could leave that open with a light. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I might... Are we missing? Oh, I'm supposed to do the, the top part. Right, so maybe we'll have to have the top part connect somehow over on this side. That might be all of my beeswax too. I'm so surprised there's not more mobs spawning around here. Uh, what was I short on? Leaf blocks. And... Copper. Oh good, lots of honeycomb. Honeycomb, I should say, not beeswax. Man, the amount of scaffolding you need to have to make builds like this work is just ridiculous. Oops. So we're missing a couple things over there. What do I need to fix? Uh, I need to replace the trapdoors over there. Oh, how was that for maneuvering? I did not think I was going to make that. So that's that part done. Now this we've got closed off because well we could put we could put leaves there for consistency, I think. I'm feeling a little bit better about this now that we've got the pipes winding around. Oh yeah, we could totally put leaves up here. I don't think that's going to mess with the view from down there. No.
That's good. I guess we could just continue on with this. I am missing something over here. Oh, pillar. And while we're in here, what I should do... is sort this out. So this has to be one, two, three. So here maybe we can just put in a little stair like that. And then this doesn't have to be there. And then that can just be leaf block. And for now, I think that looks good. I should probably do this all the way around while I'm working in here, just so that nothing and no one goes down the chute. What I should change those to is maybe some orange. Uh, fence gates? That would probably make a lot of sense. That all works. That all works. That. Oh, right, that's normal. Uh, I don't know why that's sideways. Oh, that's probably why. I remember doing that. Uh, that all looks good. And then same thing here with these pillars on the inside too. So for this, I would just do the same thing. Kind of a mess in here. So I need Keisha fence gates. And I don't have any. Wow. That's that. Uh, do we need anything else going on in here? I think the only thing I'm not so sure about it are these spruce blocks. But we're good everywhere else. 
This is more of a functional interior than a fashionable one. I think we're good. We can remove these. Everything goes back to flowing towards the middle and death. So that goes up and around. And then I think what we'll do is we'll have... Maybe the middle one here. Are those in the wrong spot? Yeah, I'm gonna move. These all, I have to do that next time. So these are all gonna move out to be on the outside like that. I guess they don't have to because of the zombie, but I think that's what I'd like to do. Some of these we could move in. I think that top one we could totally move in if we wanted to. I'm not sure if that's too busy for me or what. I kind of want to drop this down here. But it's hard, you have to drop it like a full two blocks. And I just realized that those are spawnable spots now. So the ones with the trap doors on them are not, but all of these are now spawnable spots. So we'll have to use buttons or, I mean, buttons you won't be able to see from down below. So we'll have to use buttons or pressure plates. I should do that now before I forget. I mean, ultimately, you're not going to be able to see it. This is more function. Yeah, you won't see it from below. That is unfortunate. I guess the other thing too is that we could also have, if I do the overgrown bush thing, the bushes could also cover up a lot of that. Um, everything here is fine because of the trapdoors, because they're on this level. So really it's just when it gets to the back here. So I might, I'll leave the buttons there for now, but I might come back and do the bushes, I think. I think the idea with the original farm, uh, and for those that don't know, the original farm is really old. Looks like that. And we had used the bushes to cover up a lot of the spawnable spaces. Trap doors, doors, and bushes. So, I think that's probably what we're going to do next time. Uh, this is my last stream of the weekend, though. So we're going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let me just refresh my stream and see who's around. Uh, let's pass everybody over to Good Times with Scar. I think that is a fantastic place to send you. They are on Hermitcraft, doing some rants and landscaping. I think you'll have a good time. Uh, you can follow me here on Twitch. We are almost at 20,000 followers. I really appreciate all the folks that have followed so far today. And if you want to follow on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, that is where I post all of the VODs uncut. So if you want to catch up on all the progress on this project or anything else that I've been doing, you can do that. Uh, I'm Joel Duggan on social media, very easy to find. 
please check out the Spawn Chunks podcast that is also on YouTube or wherever you get your favorite podcast. It's a free podcast I do about Minecraft with Pixel Riffs. And you can also listen to the Citadel Cafe wherever you'll find your podcasts. They are everywhere. Uh, we have them on all the platforms. So uh, check out Patreon too. If you'd like to support the channel and Twitch is just not your bag, then uh, for less than one cup of coffee per month, you can help me stream more often. I would really like to try to grow the Patreon page. Uh, you can check it out. There is also the Infinity Cove patron server. So if you'd like to play on a Minecraft server with some like-minded friends from this community, then check that out over at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Thanks so much, folks. I will see you all on Wednesday as the next scheduled stream. Bye for now.